In this video, I'll show you how the power rule works. The power rule is used when you want to find the derivative function of a constant or a polynomial function. A constant function is where the output of the function stays the same as the input increases. For example, f of x equals 4 is a constant function. If you make a graph of f of x, it looks like this. The derivative of f of x is equal to the limit as delta x goes to 0 of the ratio of delta y to delta x. As x increases, the y values don't change, so the derivative is 0 for all values of x. In general, if you have a constant function, f of x equals c, then the derivative function is f prime of x equals 0. What if we had something a little more complicated? This is a type of function called a monomial. A monomial function looks like some number times x raised to another number. The number that multiplies x is called the coefficient. The power that x is raised to is called the exponent. Coefficients and exponents can be any number, whole numbers, fractions, negative numbers, or other numbers like pi or the square root of 2. Here is an example of a monomial. The coefficient is 1.7, and the exponent is 0.5. Note that both the coefficient and exponent are numbers, not variables. The general rule for finding derivatives of monomial functions is, first, multiply the coefficient by the exponent, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. So in the example, we'd have, the new coefficient is 0.5 times 1.7, and the new exponent is 0.5 minus 1. Sometimes, things don't immediately look like monomials. For example, here is a function that has x in the denominator. In this case, you'd need to rewrite this to see how it is really a monomial. Remember, an exponent in the denominator can be rewritten as the exponent in the numerator multiplied by negative 1. And then, you can apply the rule for monomials. Multiply the coefficient by the exponent and subtract 1 from the exponent. A polynomial function consists of the sum or difference of a bunch of monomials. Here is a generic polynomial function. The a, b, and c are coefficients, and the r, s, and t are exponents. To find the derivative of a polynomial function, you would find the derivative of each monomial using the power rule. You would multiply the coefficient of each term by its exponent, and then subtract 1 from each exponent. Sometimes things don't initially look like polynomials, like this function that has radical signs and exponents that aren't just whole numbers, but you can use algebra to rewrite it. In this case, you can rewrite the radical sign as a fractional exponent, and then you can apply the power rule to each term in the function, multiply each coefficient by the exponent of that term, and then subtract 1 from the exponent, remembering that the derivative of a constant is 0. In that, is how you can compute derivatives of polynomial functions.